Hello, hello. I'm back on. How's everyone doing? It's Krista with Texas Gypsy Style, and I've got a project here for us. It's going to be a custom painted hutch. It's a two piece. I posted a picture of it earlier. And we're going to get started on it like right away. I've got to prep it though. We're going to start from the very beginning. And so that may be a little boring for some, but that's okay. Some of y'all may have not ever touched a piece of furniture or done some of the things that we're about to do on here. So, welcome. I already see some friendly names I haven't seen in a really long time. <laughs> Today I'm just going to be stripping the top of this. Gloves. I just threw these glasses on for some eye protection. And um, so I'm going to be using this, um, this just regular stripper. And we're going to be doing this two-piece hutch here. And... The other pieces over there, y'all can go back and see what it looks like in my other posts. But I haven't been on here in a really long time, so I figured this would be a good um, starting spot for me to get back in the groove and. <laughs> going live and talking on the camera and all that so I feel like there's been a lot of changes in everything also so anyway happy Mother's Day to everybody hope y'all are having a good one are not having a good Mother's Day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It'll get that. <clears throat> um, it, here in Virginia, it's kind of like, it's really cold. And it's um, rainy. So, I've kind of got to be careful with my stripper because it'll um it'll get kind of cold thank you olivia <laughs> are you a mommy if you are happy mother's day and it's so good to see you on here <laughs> project. Um, we are going to be doing color on this piece. Can y'all guess what color? <laughs> I've actually done um, a custom piece for this customer before. She is super sweet. She was um, a little more local than she is now. They just moved up the road a little bit further away, so I'll be delivering it, uh, which is just like a little over, well, it's probably about a two-hour drive, which is not a big deal. So if y'all are around this area, hours away. I don't mind delivering. I've got a trailer now and you can just 
pile it all in and get it to you guys. So the top on here, it's a real soft pine. So we don't want to dig in too deep. I just want to take off just the very top of what I'm grabbing there. It's a clean strip. You get it at Lowe's or Home Depot, I think. It says it works in 15 minutes, but you kind of got to play with it. It depends on your weather. You definitely want to wear gloves and, and have some ventilation. I've got um, my window here and I've actually got the garage door cracked also. You're welcome. It's really strong though, so if smells bother you, you might not like this. I I would have probably just sanded it, but I I didn't I want to drag it outside because of the weather. It's like raining off and on. I don't know what it's doing. It's really and truly just kind of pissing me off. So <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> How's everybody been? Well, I plan on um, doing this whole piece live with you guys like I normally do. Uh, since we've moved, I have not really tackled many big pieces, or any, any at all. This is it. This is, this is the big, the big boy. And we just, I just kind of finalized all the colors and everything with my customer. The last piece she had done with me ended up being uh, Sun Glow Yellow. It was really pretty. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'm not keeping up with my uh, news. Um, I should. Y'all will have to inform me. I just, I don't sit down long enough to catch much and I don't, I don't know, nobody shares that information with me and I don't go really looking it up, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Facebook doesn't tell me, or the, I must not have the app, I don't know. Isn't that weird how that happens? to get another reason why I miss going live and talking with you guys because y'all I get to talk to people all over the world and it's very humbling and I just I learn a lot and I meet a lot of people that way so thank y'all for hopping on here <laughs> And I also meet people, local people this way too. <laughs> I, um, I sell furniture in a shop in Newport News, Virginia. Um, we actually live in Yorktown, Virginia. So. 
my shop is located inside of Design and Consign, the indoor marketplace. It's off of Ward Boulevard. And I really don't wondering what's up because I haven't had you can see the big it's not a big difference I'm trying not to leave the stripper on there for too long because it's drying out so if you use stripper at all you, you will you will understand what I'm talking about I may just have to wait for um, the rain to stop and um, phew. to stop so I can um, just sand it. But it's coming out. It's coming out nice. Uh, I don't. I don't need it to come out totally. I just want to get that top varnish off. See my son coming over. Hi, Annie. Oh, she said, love your shop. I traveled from Williamsburg to see it. I found a jewelry box you inspired me to work on. Oh. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> oh, this stuff is so strong. Hey, Marco! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you doing? Thank you. She's on TV. I'll get that. If y'all need to strip something, then y'all can use something like that. There, there's a more natural one called Orange Stripper that I used to use a lot of. Um, there's this one. There's 
this one. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. The orange stripper takes a little bit longer to activate, but um, it's kind of the same concept. But real life, girl. <laughs> backwards and so I'm gonna clean I didn't get to ask her yet if she wanted new hardware, but that's definitely something I'll be asking her. this already in it. It's a nice um, drawer. Gosh, I can't even remember my words right now. Like I said, I gotta start practicing again. <laughs> what that is. I have to ask her if that is something they are missing. This is an Ethan Allen. Does she want? She wants a 
bottle. Her husband wanted a blue, but I think she really wanted a green. So I told her I would compromise and we'll do both. So um, I said we'll do the we'll do base coat or like the all over coat uh, green and we'll do accents of blue and it's going to be bright uh, green. Kind of like your candy apple kind of green. So I'm excited. But this is the first time I've ever done um, this style of hutch. If I'm not mistaken. I call it an Ethan Allen hutch. Hi nature! Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> I missed you too, hon. I missed you too. <laughs> I figured today would just... I'm just gonna go on today, you know? Why not? <laughs> There was no perfect time in the real world. <laughs> so, here we are. loving this paper in here. I think it's original to this, this piece of furniture. It's really cute. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like um, old newspaper, the classified. dresser. Alright. I just pulled off the other handle. <laughs> Me too. I've, I, like I said, I've been trying to, you know, pick the perfect time and all this and that, but there's just no such thing. So, So y'all, y'all need to tell me like what's all sold. Oh, what's all sold? I'm getting messages of <laughs> from our shop. <laughs> People are so we get messages of when things sell. Um, y'all are gonna have to fill me in on what's been going on because I've been out of the loop. But 
that's okay. I'm just here and I'm just <sighs> gonna do it. Um, okay. So. little key pieces on and um, I'll paint around them uh, sand over a little bit and they'll uh, they'll look good some simple green and um, it's concentrate so I just have added some water in here but I douse it pretty good that I'm going to just sand it later when the weather's better. take the doors off and do this, which on this one we may have to, but for right now I'm just going to 
do a real good all over cleaning. I don't like to get ahead of myself and start losing all my parts and stuff. Whenever I get done doing this, I'm going to put a fan on it though, um, so that it dries really good. Since it's a soft wood, And the weather's crummy.
top, that's just the bottom. <laughs> so my, the top of it is over here. Um, and uh, we'll get to that later on. But right now I'm going to just be working on the bottom. But, um, mm -hmm. My customer has given me um, some artistic free range, so I was wondering what time it was for you. Thank you. Thanks, Sign, for coming on. We'll see you next. We'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night. Um. So um, I don't know. Along the way, we'll. Uh, touch base with her and see how far she'll let us fly and um, um, I don't know I really don't know what all her um, new home because they just moved so I'm not sure what all her new home decor is going to look like so um, I'm waiting for her to kind of send me some photos of all that um, but it's going to be uh, like a candy apple green for the most part. I'll be refinishing this top. Uh, I'm going to sand it instead of um, stripping it and stain it. I, um, well, I may not stain it, restain it. Uh, it just depends on how that comes out. Um, whenever I sand it. But I, I don't know, probably when I sand it, I'll end up standing it. Because it'll go down to more of a bare wood look. So, yay. Um, what else? I guess that's about it for now. So, I'm going to let this dry overnight. And tomorrow, I'll probably start painting. So, hope to see you all around. And, uh, I guess that's about it. I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, though. Once again, my name is Krista Mulkey, and, uh, you've been watching Texas Gypsy Style, and today we learned... Uh, about stripping and uh, kind of some prepping on furniture, just doing some basics. So, thank y'all. Bye.